Hey guys, it's Alan and I'm here to talk about things that are interesting to me. So today I am showing a video, progression video of my skin condition. Uh, I've got a lot of acne and over the years I've accumulated a lot of scars and um, uh, pick type, pick axe type uh, scarring which is like an indentation in, in your skin uh, and I've got that mainly around my forehead up here. Um, I think because I used to sit and pick at them and that wasn't a good thing. Never pick at your acne. Um, so recently I discovered uh, some YouTube videos about a derma roller, which is like a, a rolling... It, I don't have it with me right now. It's in the bathroom. I don't want to run out and get it. But it's essentially a rolling apparatus with needles in them. Uh, and they're really microscopic. Well... You, you can see them, but uh, the damage they do to your skin is very microscopic. You can't observe it. Uh, and you roll on your skin, and it feels a bit like between static electricity and someone with ne really sharp nails scratching along your skin. It's really, really irritating. Uh, but I've been using it for about uh, two weeks now. I've used it about three times in those two weeks. I'm using it every second day. Uh, not as often um, as I should, but I don't really want to be going hard out since this is my first time using it. And so far, uh, I don't see any difference. So the point of this video is to make a video talking about the derma roller, uh, showing what's going on with my skin, and hopefully seeing the progression over the next couple of days. Now I've already applied it, so my face looks really blotchy and red and really, you know, aggravated. Uh, and that's fine because I've put some cream on it, and hopefully it'll settle and start recovering. Um, the point of the derma roller is to cause these microscopic. Um, irritations uh, which um, stimulate the fibroblasts under your skin cells they they, they produce collagen and uh, I think fibrin and stuff like that proteins that uh, keep your skin plump and non wrinkly uh, that's what most young people have and as you age or get older with skin damage they start to disappear or they alter the shape and look of your skin so the point of that is I'm causing microscopic damage to especially around my forehead area hoping to fill out those indentations as so to speak um, so I'm just gonna zoom in into the camera and show you uh, where the areas are and hopefully in the next couple of days you'll see it start to recover I've got this really obvious wrinkle line right across my forehead I think because I use my eyebrows a lot you can see it's really obvious there so I'm gonna try and uh, help fix that out so you can see there uh, especially here you can see those indentation scars uh, they're not they don't look so great um, and especially on this side, I guess not as clear, but you can quite see very, very obvious along here. Um, and some of my skin, there, there's just a few areas of indentations. Uh, my nose has just bled a little, so that's fine. But you can see my nose has quite a lot of bumps and ridges. Uh, my chin, not so much. I think it's recovered quite well, surprisingly, because I used to get a lot of acne on my uh, chin. Um, but you can see right across my cheek there, and right across my cheek there. Uh, some, some, some of those uh, color, colorations are actually just acne scarring, colored, uh, what's the word for it? Melanin producing cells have like um, overproduced melanin, which has caused a darkening of my skin. Uh, the main thing to treat, the main treatment for that is, is to use vitamin C. Um, but I'm, I'm not quite sure on what kind of cream I should be applying like uh, like scar healing cream or the melanin melanin inhibiting cream but I think the main priority is to use scar healing cream just to get rid of those um, really obvious dimples as you can see on my forehead there and then transition to you know vitamin C treatments just to get reduce the uh, coloration of my skin and hopefully in the next couple of days I'll be looking much more healthier <laughs> anyway uh, I'm wearing a beanie because I want to keep my hair I guess I should explain that first but I'm wearing a, a, a little bear beanie just to keep my hair away from my face as uh, my skin starts to settle down as, surprisingly it looks like I'm starting to lighten up with in complexion I think at the start of the video I was really really red anyway uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time